Alright, welcome back everyone to Let's Play Assassin's Creed. Uh, yeah, we're on our way to Damascus for our very first mission, but first... Please don't notice me, guards. Please. I'm just riding a horse. Let's get off. Uh, one of the big trademarks of the Assassin's Creed series are viewpoints where you'll actually synchronize. And by synchronizing, they mean like you'll see the entire environment around you and gather like map data and information about the entire area by seeing it from a high vantage point so first you just gotta climb up the building and I notice how slow it is compared to Assassin's Creed 2 it's kinda up the speed of these sort of things but you know this is the first in the series you can't be perfect so you get to the very top press triangle and it shows the entire area around here And there we go. So now we have Damascus marked in our map, I believe. That's where it is. So we just get back on here, and then we gotta ride there. Yep, so now everything's displayed on the map now. Pretty much. So now it's just a really long ride to Damascus. You see the number in the bottom right. Please don't notice me. Seriously? Okay. Like, they get all mad just because I'm riding a horse. Like, I don't care. Like, you can notice me all you want. I'm riding a horse. You can't catch up to me. Alright, so we just kind of keep making our way over there. See, look, they already lost me. They can't catch me. Uh, yeah, there's another viewpoint. We actually want to get viewpoints as much as we can. It's... Not like it is an optional thing, really, but you want to do it since it will show you crucial data when you actually go to different areas. I think the more you synchronize, the more health you get too. Like after a while, like you fill up your little bar in the bottom left when it shows up. You'll see it when you get to this top of this viewpoint. But when you fill like the little bar, I think you get an extra unit of health. So they're useful. Might as well do them. So as I said in one of my other videos, um, Assassin's Creed 3 does come out tomorrow as I'm recording this, but due to Hurricane Sandy being an idiot and ruining everything for everyone, I'm probably not going to get the game until either Wednesday or Thursday, unfortunately. But when I do get it, I will be recording it, so don't worry. Alright, let's just blend. You don't notice me. I'm just a nice little monk. I just gotta get to my horse. I'm just walking. I'm not doing anything, I'm just walking. Don't notice me. Look, I'm just blending on my horse. I'm just somehow blending on a horse. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh crap. No. No, 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 no. How do I get down from here? Is this the way? No! How do I get down from here? Please tell me this is the way. Oh, thank god. Alright, so... Jeez, don't try and rock climb with a horse. I'll tell you, it's kind of weird. So you see, notice all those little blue dots on the map. Those are just hide spots where you can blend in when you're being chased by the guards. But we're on a horse, so I'm not even going to bother. But they are useful when you're in cities and you need to escape. So we utilize those later, but not here. This is kind of pointless. All right, we're almost halfway there. It's kind of ridiculous. Like I'm glad in Assassin's Creed 2 they completely eliminated the need to ride on horseback to each city because... Wait, why, no one wants to do this and sit here when there's nothing really to do along the way. Don't let get away. Yeah, don't let me get away. Oh, here's another viewpoint. 
Yes, I've lost track of me. They've lost track of me. You see that guard down there that completely was oblivious to me. Oh, shit. Wait. Don't tell me they're here already. Okay, they lost me again somehow. Ooh, there's a flag. Um, flags are the infamous collectibles of Assassin's Creed 1. Uh, you can collect all the flags to fill up a little spot on your, um, sink meter, but there's really no point to it. You get nothing out of it. I think, what, you get a trophy, maybe? I don't even know if you get a trophy for it. It's really pointless. I don't know one person who actually has done it, because it's really one of the most pointless things I've ever seen. Even the feathers in Assassin's Creed 2 have more of a point, but in reality they don't either, but what? Are you kidding me? Uh You can use stealth kills to create a distraction. Why didn't he jump into the bale of hay? Okay. Let's try that again. Thank you, Altair. Alright. Get out of the hay. Alright, let's go. I'm just glad it didn't start me all the way back there, or else I would have been really mad. Alright, um... You know, in the future, leave in the comments if you want me to keep in this writing to each town thing, since seriously, I don't think it's helping anyone. Like, all I'm gonna do from town to town is just go to the viewpoint. Like, here's another one I have to go to. I think it'd be better if I just cut this out for our future parts, but I'll show you this one since it's the first time going here, I guess, but really, I don't think anyone really wants to see this, so but leave your opinion in the comments. Do you want me to keep in this horse riding thing to each town? If you do, good for you. If you don't, okay. I'll take your opinions. Whatever. I think we can... I think I see the entrance to Damascus all the way over there. Alright, 4 out of 12 for like the entire overworld part of the map. Don't... Don't mind me, please. Please, don't mind me. Alright, just... Oh god, wait, is that a... Hey, I'm gonna kill you. Since I know that you are like a Templar captain or something like that. Shit. Crap. What? Well, two deaths in one video. You can create diversions with dead bodies. This has been going swell. What? Oh my god, did you see his body? I really want to know why he didn't jump into the bale of hay. Look, I'm right where I'm supposed to jump. And now he does it. Before he's just like, nope, whatever. And now I don't have a horse. Okay, I'm just going to grab this flag and keep going. I know all those horses over there. Maybe I can sneak up on that guy and assassinate him. Because I know you get something for killing them. Alright, let's go slow. Is there an empty space between there? No. Great. Yeah, I can't just walk through there, so... Let me go slow. Hopefully his field of vision is poor. He's kind of turned. Yes! <gasps> Templar eliminated. Okay.
Rear? What? Oh, no, don't do that. What? Okay, let's just go. What the? Um, horse? Okay, I think the horse is possessed by the devil. Let's just... Let's go to Damascus. It's been too long. That was really weird. When you are exposed, throwing soldiers from rooftops and into structures is a useful way to create an escape route. Oh my god, I just love this hidden blade. I'm really hoping I can either build one or buy one in real life since I just want to like have that for my weapons collection. Like, in a couple of days I'm going to buy Connor's Tomahawk from Assassin's Creed 3 and hopefully I can get a hidden blade or double hidden blades for Ezio, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Alright, we're finally in Damascus, so we just gotta ride down here and enter the city. And it's not like we can just walk into the city, of course, we have to actually sneak in. But it's pretty easy to get in here, as is all the city, since they all basically have the exact same gate. Ooh. I will help you, citizen. Help! I need help! Please, anyone! Yes! Alright, I need to get better at combat, so I was getting kind of rusty back there. Yes! Alright. Alright, so I just gotta time that right. You hit them, and what, as soon as the sword hits their sword, you just gotta you, hit boy. it again, and you'll do like an insta kill. My sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. Nice lip sync guy. All right, so by helping that guy, we've unlocked hero. scholars, and scholars are just since they're wearing the exact same thing as you closely, like the same white, you can blend with them. And at least for this part, it's easy to get into the city because. They'll move on a set path that walks you straight into the city gate. If you didn't save that guy, you have to climb up the wall, shimmy up onto that board over there, and then jump in. But with the scholars, you can basically just walk right in. Yep, they just let you right in. Now we just gotta get past these second guards and then we can just keep going. All right. All right, so now that we're in the city, um, our first goal is going to be to find a viewpoint we can actually reach. Since without the viewpoints... Oh, or we can do this right now. Might as well get this out of the way. Yes, I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes. Many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. Alright, let's follow this guy. What is it? Um. Don't mind me. And yoink. Alright, so I guess Tamir is our first target, but first we got. I said that really weird. Um, he's our first target. First, let's get to this viewpoint so we can actually see what our objectives are around here. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the Assassin's Creed 3. Like, not the 3 games, the, about the Assassin's Creed games that um, makes it so there's so many guards on rooftops. Like, I don't know in what city they need so many people guarding rooftops. But I guess it's simply just because assassins are roaming and they need to just protect everything. Alright, so now we should be able to see all the little icons in this area. Alright, so the Assassin's District is that glowing area over there. I don't remember what that circular thing is over here, but... 
Oh, it's a citizen we need to save. And that will help us out later, so... Right. Now let's go save him. And I always like to start these out with assassination for some reason. I just think it looks much better. Yeah, my timing is way off. There we go. Oh, okay, you're still here. There we go. Thank you, my boy. I only wish my sons were half as great 